Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of everything to show you all. Most importantly, part one of my craft room tour. Today we're going to start exploring the cubicle area behind me and what all the marvelous bins contain. Um, but first, let's do a whip update on my Hocus Pocus. I finished Winnie! <laughs> Yeah, she looks awesome. And I also uh, started on Sarah. You can kind of see her outline. I don't know if I need to move this closer to the camera or not. But yeah, I'm super pumped. Winnie is finally done. And Sarah is coming along nicely. So I'm hoping to finish her within this next week or two. And then this little bit of area over here is just a half a page, so I'm hoping that will only take a week. So my goal is by the end of July to have two rows finished, and then I'll have three more to go. Um, my diamond painting, the dragonkin, I finished two more pages as well, but since I'm already set up here, I will show that closer to the end of the video. But, um, two projects, not as much as some of you other floss tubers out there, but I'm a kind of a one, two project kind of girl. I feel like if I get too many, I might start to go crazy, but I do have lots of plans for the future. I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to be able to start all of these potential plans that I have in my head, but I am slowly accumulating the things that I need in order to do them. So hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe when school ends for me, which this summer semester is next week, um, I'll have more free time to hopefully start some more crafty stuff. I mentioned that I also want to get into crocheting, mostly to make amigurumis and to do shawls. I love the shawls and the ponchos, and that's mainly what I'm looking forward to. Um, I see a lot of pretty like Russian patterns of really, really gorgeous like bunnies and I don't know, just little dolls. I've been, they look incredible and I hope one day that I can get that good that I can just make a bunch and hoard them in my room because I don't know if I would ever sell them. I might or give them away as gifts but I'm a hoarder so. Uh, this time I do have notes. Look at this paper, isn't that cute? <laughs> uh, my friend got me that for, um, I think she got this for my birthday mostly because of the lemons. I, quick story. So here's the lemons. <laughs> I My husband got us a lemon tree. This is probably two years ago. And um, I don't know why. I, re I can't remember what the reason was behind it. I think it was just kind of a whatever purchase. Like, oh, look at this lemon tree. Let's try to grow lemons. So he bought one for me. And he did a lot of research, which is funny when you think about it, when I think about it, on this lemon tree. And younger lemon trees, they don't bear fruit. So he made sure he got a fruit-bearing mature lemon tree. I think this tree was three or four years old. And when it came, it had a couple lemons on it. So that was really exciting. And I got so into it. And we got this huge pot. I repotted it. I got a little thermometer, thermostat that measured the level of water in the soil, like how dry the soil was. I got plant food, special food for it, and the whole nine yards. Well, long story short, it died. <laughs> I tried to move it outside in the summer, and that particular summer, we had crazy, crazy rain, and it it drowned. Um, I tried, I was taking paper towels out there. I was covering the pot in a garbage bag so it wouldn't get as much water, but it died. Um, but I think my friends, this friend in particular, thought that it was cool. I don't know if she thought it was cool or it was crazy. It was one of the two. So she got me this cute stationery that features mainly lemons. And I think his name is, I'm going to butcher this, Rakumala? I, I don't know, but it's a lot of letters and it starts with an R and there's a couple K's in there. So she got me this stationery and then she got me this, um, I don't know, he's like a toy from Japan and he's, if you turn him one way, 
he has a smile. It's a lemon. So one way he smiles, but if you turn him upside down, he's like a frowny, angry lemon. It's really cute. It's at my cubicle at work. Um, but it's like a running, it's a running thing between us. She thinks it's funny and I think it's sad, but the combination, I get cute stuff out of it. So, <laughs> um, diamond painting. So, yeah, thank you all for watching my videos that I've been doing on diamond painting and leaving me great feedback, great comments. I love reading them all. Um, I, I do want to know what other videos do you want me to do? What else are you interested in? I've done a tools video. I've done um, a time lapse video. Just uh, It wasn't really a time lapse. Well, it was. It was like really short. It was like a minute. And I've also done the how you can kit up your own diamond painting, which was my previous video, the last before this one. So... Um, I'm thinking about doing a time, like an actual time lapse video on my current piece of the lady's head. So in Dragon Kin, there is this girl holding a dragon, and I'm coming up on starting her actual, I think I'm just, it's like her hair and her forehead. So I was going to do a time lapse of from there all the way to finishing the end of her face, but I would probably skip doing the background and the wings in between. So mainly just focusing on her face and how that comes to life. Um, I'm assuming that's gonna take, you know, a couple, a couple takes. I usually work anywhere from eight to 10 hours on a day on the weekend, and I can usually finish a page in three days, but that's, like I said, on the eight to 10 hour weekend days. So that might come. Hopefully I can piece it all together in YouTube. I'm still not the best at editing, but I try what I can. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, so I, in my Diamond Painting Facebook group, put a link down below. Michelle is a part of it, and she is the creator owner of Heaven and Earth Designs. And a lot of people were asking if she was going to carry kits uh, if she was going to carry the diamonds and the canvas and if she was going to support it. So a while back she was looking into it and she did and she decided that she's not going to carry the kits, the canvas, the beads at this time just because it's so much in more inventory that she would have to keep and um, I don't really know if it would turn a profit for her for a while because she would have to keep all that inventory and she'd probably have to hire more people to help her at least that's what I'm assuming I really don't know but I know she posted something about it on our I think I think the diamond painting group but definitely the main heaven and earth design group so that's sad but I get it and I don't know if she would be able to compete with the prices that you can get overseas particularly from AliExpress um, the diamonds are really inexpensive. She said, and it's apparently like marked up a hundred times or something. M maybe I'm exaggerating, but it's marked up a lot on AliExpress, which is interesting considering that the kits and the diamonds are, in my experience, pretty inexpensive. So I would really be interested to know what they actually cost to make and manufacture, but regardless let's get to the good stuff my craft room tour um okay let me just scooch over here so in my first in my first little cubby here i have the patterns the really large patterns that i printed out so far so there are two heaven and earth designs and then this black one right here is my pokemon uh cross stitch so the first one i got i fell in love with this I'm sure many of you have seen it. It is called Beautiful Secrets by Adele Sessler. And I got fabric that looks pretty much just like that. So I'm going to stitch it without this background. So it will just be the image, but it will be on this fabric. So the background will still look like that. Um, then I got... Copper vein. This was, I think, um, the main background image for Heaven and Earth Designs website for a while. 
And I think that's how I discovered this pattern because it was, I just kept looking at it all the time I went to the website and I was like, wow, that's actually a pattern, I have to get that. So I got it. <laughs> and last but last, not last but not least, this is the Pokemon. Look how many pages are this, guys. I swear, it's 209 or 10 pages. And it was so large that it didn't fit in one PDF. So um, it had to be broken into four PDFs. So I have them labeled by corner. So it goes top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And that's all in here. And it's funny because like two of the quarters, they're colored. And then two of the quarters are just black and white. So I like, I do like the colored pieces because look, there's Muck. What? Who else is on here? I don't know if I can see anyone else. Isn't that Trap Pinch? <laughs> the little turtle Pokemon? Like now you know how much of a geek I am. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I think this is either Seal or Dugong, and this is a Whalmer, the big blue whale. Yeah, so I'm going to have a good time doing that. I know I will. Um, I am debating between sewing my fabric on my scroll rods or getting the Velcro and attaching it to my scroll rods with the Velcro. However, the Velcro on Amazon has gone up in price. It's tripled in price, like in the last week for whatever reason. And it's telling me it takes one to two months to ship. So I don't know guys, I don't know what's going on. I got all my floss, I went to Joann's, I just had a sale, 4th of July, 3 for 99 cents, and um, plus a 20% off your entire purchase. So I just got more floss to fill in the missing flosses that I didn't have, and that's in the corner, still waiting to be put away, because I got a lot going on. Let's keep going. This is probably my most favorite box because this contains all of my kits, my cross stitch kits. And it's a lot, guys. I don't know. I don't know how I accumulated all this, but let's start going through it, shall we? A little bit of show and tell. I have a lot of Mill Hill kits in here and a lot of kits from magazines like World of Cross Stitching and a lot of these kits my friend got me for Christmas and my birthday. So everybody knows the Santas. I want to do them all and hang them on my tree. I got a bunch of, the, well, actually I think he's my only one. But here's a butterfly. These are all Mill Hills that I'm showing you. Gingerbread house. I got fireflies, lightning bugs, whatever you want to call them in a jar. This cute little snowman ornament. He is, um, he's done the Mill Hill, but he's done on perforated paper. And of course, you guys have seen all of my owls. I won't show them all again. You know I have all six. Um, I got a sugar skull. I know, um, I feel like, gosh, I forget her name, but Delicious Threads, the owner of Delicious Threads, I think she's doing the whole series. And once you get one, you have to get the whole series, right? Here's a cute, I think this is from World of Cross Stitching, a little birthday card. He's really cute. I got some brooches. I don't know if, some of these I don't really know if I'll ever do, but I guess they're like quick, last minute gifts, handmade. This one, yeah, see, I don't know if I would do this one either. It's like, um, I don't know, that little, I don't even know what you would call that. A necklace holder that comes with a hanger? I, I don't get it. I don't know. What else do I have? Here's a little card. He's cute. <laughs> little owl. I have a lot of owls for some reason. Here's, this was like a little insert from a magazine. Floss holder organizer. 
that's cute with the tea. More magazine inserts. Monty the bear. I need to work on my camera skills because it's not good. This is a little floral sachet. Little heart. Some of these, like I said, I mean, it's not really my taste, not really my style, but I do like Taddy Teddy. He's pretty cute. <laughs> all the Taddy Teddies, all the little owls, all the hedgehogs. I don't know what he's called. I don't know, but there's a lot of him. He's really cute. I love the hedgehogs and the teddies. Oh, and Fizzy Moon. He's another one, right? Another character. And um, I think I'm coming to the end of my... Yeah, so this is the last one. This is a little holiday card. I think this is Taddy Teddy. Cute. And these are my actual kits. Okay, so I have one from Ursula Michaels. I think everybody knows her. It's the images that are stitched up with words. So this is a really cute snowman. I don't even know how I found him, but I thought he was pretty cute. So I bought it. And for all you dog lovers out there, I think this is um, like the dog lover's promise or something. Yeah, dog wisdom, I guess. So it's really cute. I was like, oh, that would be cute. I don't know where I would put it, but it's cute. I love tea. So I got this pattern which features a bunch of tea and teacups. I think I got this from 123 Stitch. That's where I get most of my stuff. <laughs> 123 Stitch. Um, I saw this and I thought it would come with more beads, but I think that it only comes with black beads because that's all I see in here. Regardless, these kimonos are really pretty and I thought that would just be fun to stitch up. And I love beadwork, so the beads were an added bonus. Keeping in theme with the teas, hot chocolate. <laughs> Look at all these, aren't they so cute? I think I would probably do these as ornaments. Um, they came with a bunch of floss. I'm not familiar with the brand. It's Craftways? I don't know, but it's a ton in here. And there's 12 of them. I think they'd be really cute on my tree if I get around to ever finishing my Hocus Pocus when I die. The okay, so in my last cross stitch video, cross stitch floss tube 11, cross stitch 11. I was talking about the dang, um, what is this called, felt applique? This, this is the one, okay, I had to have it because, oh my god, Christmas, advent calendars, things you can pull out of pockets, that's what I want, cause that's what I like. I like, I don't know, it just, it called to me. And Miss Oh So Crafty, she does a bunch of these and they turn out so cute. I just, I love them. Um, I don't, I cut it, I don't even know where it is. It's the giant, oh, here it is, okay. So look, look at my boo-boos, look at my ears, and shame me. So this, I cut out. This is the actual banner, okay, the back, the thing that everything goes on. Alright, and you see all these like turns and twists? Well, I cut him. Now I'm gonna make a liar of myself because I can't find. Oh, okay, here's one. I don't know if you could see that very well, but see that? Yeah. Yep. Fail number one. What else? Do I, I know I got several in here. Oh no, here's one. What is my camera doing? Come on camera. Go where I want you to go. Okay, right there. See that? Yep. Maybe it's not so bad though, but... Okay, so I got two, but... It really hurt my soul when I cut into this. Because I was like, what are you doing, Caitlin? You were such a perfectionist. And it made me rage quit. 
I think what my problem is, I didn't, I got frustrated because there's a lot of sequences and there's thread, there's different kinds of thread and it comes with needles and the instructions are like a thousand pages long, but I didn't organize. So I literally just started to cut and I left everything in it like this. And I don't, I don't think I can do that because I'm very... I'm not very OCD, but I feel like I need organization in some form when I start a new project. So I think that the floss needs to go in bobbins and the sequins need to go into containers. And then I think maybe I can work on it more because I'm just, I'm stressing about it. I want it to be perfect. I want everything to look cute just like this picture I got look I got everything for it I got the stuffing polyfill but I, I don't know guys I don't know I don't know I want to do it because there is a ton of really cute felt applique stuff out there there's um the door wreaths I really like there's a Halloween one out that I really love and then they have a ton of really cute ornaments and my husband he used to bowl, he used to be on the bowling league and they had, they came out with Christmas themed ornaments centered around bowling so I was like oh my god this will be so cute for our tree just to you know pay homage to his bowling and honestly I don't know I think he might be done with bowling because he um, he was on a league he's been in it for two years now so the league goes from September to May and it's every Wednesday night usually for four three or four hours and there's no there's no breaks literally from September to May that's more than half of the year and he did it for two years. I'm very proud of him. He did it for two years. He won awards. He get he got a couple pins, like really cool pins, and he put them on his backpack. Um, I threw him a party, a surprise party. After he finished his first year, I got him a cake from Baskin Robbins, and it it um it looked like a bowling lane, and I don't know. And I made, I bought little bowling keychains, and I wrote all of his teammates names on each one so I made a little goodie bag for all of his teammates and yeah it was fun I thought that was like a cool wife thing to do maybe I'm wrong um moving on sorry this is probably gonna be a really long video I'm sorry. grab your stitching oh oh so I showed these before but in the theme of witches aren't they cute look at them can you see them all? Am I holding them good? Ta-da! Can you, can you, can I get them all in there? Look, aren't they cute? Look at her. This is also called Hocus Pocus, right? Yeah, the trilogy from Mill Hill. So obviously, obviously I bought them. Who do you think I am? Yes, I buy, I buy everything. I don't know why. My husband doesn't like it. And I try to buy stuff and hide it from him, but he ends up finding it. And he watches these videos, so now he's going to know how much shit I really have. Um, okay. So, this is a cute kit from Michaels. I think I bought this with the intention of stitching it up for one of my friends that I'm no longer friends with. But it's cute. <laughs> I think I'll still do it. It's, it looks like it's going to be quick. Said no one ever. Look at him! I want to get all of these. The snow bells. He's a jingle. Does he have a jingle in here? That would be even better if he had like a bell attached to him, but I don't. Oh look, his name is Jangle. That's cute. Um, this, I don't, I don't care for this. It's a magazine thing. Uh, oh look, here's more magazine crap. Oh, but he's cute. Bee Bunny. I like him. And then this. Okay, so Lovely Array, please come back. I miss your videos. You are my Lovely Array was the very, very, very first floss tuber I ever came across. 
And I didn't even know floss tube was a thing. I was like, floss tube, what the hell is this? Because I was just getting myself an cross stitch. This was two years ago? Two years ago? Three years ago? I don't know, I'm old, guys. Um, and I was... I think I was doing my wolf kit from Michaels. And I YouTubed how to do a back stitch. And, or how to... Cr I think I, I Googled not googled, I YouTube searched how to cross stitch because I think what I was doing was every, where's my hocus pocus? I think what I was doing for every hole, right? I would do of course this count is so small I don't know, but every hole I would stitch one and then I would I would skip another hole, so I would, I don't know I wouldn't do them together I don't know if that makes sense, so it would be like for whatever reason, I thought the way that the pattern was on the gridded paper, you know, I thought that it was one stitch and then, I don't know how to explain myself, I thought it was one stitch and then where the cross was, then you skip a hole and then you do another stitch. So I was doing that for a and I was like, this doesn't look right. This doesn't look like a wolf. It looks like a mess. So I searched how to cross and I was like oh everything goes together because for some reason I didn't process that you can bring the thread up through the hole that you already like put an X in so I thought once you use those holes with the thread no more thread can go up through those holes that's how I thought anyway so I searched how to cross stitch I found some little video and in the same results I saw her, and I think the screenshot of her video was her with that gorgeous full coverage, like 50s pinup girl. She stopped working on her, by the way, and I loved seeing her progress on that because um, I, I had no clue you could do cross stitch like that. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know. I'm so naive. I still am. But yeah, so. I think she was one of the very first people I actually even subscribed to on YouTube, period. I don't think I had any subscriptions before. Maybe like comic related subscriptions, but I'm pretty sure she was, you know, in my first five subscriptions at least. And then somehow it just spiraled. I think then I found Caroline Man Manzo? Mazio? Look, I'm terrible with names. I'm sorry. That's just who I am. I suck at names. But that's my story. So, all of that leads up to she was doing this little blueberry blackberry kit by the Sweetheart Tree. And I saw it and I was like, oh my god, that is so cute. So, this is not the exact same one that she's doing. Or she has done, actually, by now. But this was the only one that I could find at the time. I don't think I was very good at searching. And I'm pretty sure this came from 123Stitch. But it's the whole kit from the, street, the Sweetheart Tree. It comes with the fabric and the beads. And you can see it's just a little tiny piece of fabric. But I bought this because I thought it would be good also at helping me backstitch. Um, I haven't backstitched very much. The only thing I've backstitched is my little owl, my Mill Hill owl. So the only thing I've beaded is my Mill Hill owl. But yet I love beading. I don't know. It's who I am. Except me. This, I think I bought with the dog, the animal friends thing. I was like, oh my god, look, a cliche seashell bathroom piece. Will I put this in one of my bathrooms? I don't know. But doesn't everyone, like, everyone knows someone who has a bathroom that is seashell or ocean. Every, everyone knows someone. And they have, like, the little seashell hand soaps and the pictures. And Am I going to be that person? I might be. I might be that person. I don't know how I feel about that. This, I don't care about. I don't know. What is this? What is this, Joan Elliott? I don't know. It's a little freebie. This is a freebie. Um, I think it actually goes with this. 
Like, this is the stuff to do it with. Okay, I'll take it. It's in here. These guys are special. There's a story behind them. I am on Instagram. If you're interested, my Instagram is caitlin.white.15. And through one of my many Instagram scroll binges through cross stitch pictures, I found someone who completed this little guy. Look at him. And this little doggy just reminded me so much of my very first dog, Ginger. She's a Karen Terrier. Clearly, this is a West White Highland Terrier. Yes, I know the difference. But they're so similar. She, um, she's a Wheaton. She was a Wheaton Karen Terrier with jet black ears. But in her age, you know, she was very wheat when she was younger. But in her old age, she made it to 17. She was basically all white with jet black ears. So, I mean, this, you don't really find Karen Terrier patterns in cross stitch. At least I haven't. So this one was so sweet. And um, the person who finished this, I don't think she lived in America. But I asked her where she bought this, and it was some Russian company. I'm sorry, guys. If you want the information to these, just ask me because this was really complicated to order. I don't know why. It was really complicated to order, but I wanted these so much that I just bought them. So I was just going to buy this. But this site, I have. if you want it, I can find the information, and I'll comment it down below. But special request please because it's I, I know I'm gonna like have to dig for this so I had to order through some site and I just wanted this but I had to have a minimum order or something and it's all in ruples and US dollar is worth more than ruples I think I'm saying that right so it was fine um, I think this was like seven dollars or something seven US dollars and or five dollars maybe it's five dollars so the minimum purchase was like fifteen dollars or something so it's like okay do you have anything similar like what's going on show me what you got and he did he had two more so I bought this cutie he is Italy and then I got his friend this Frenchie I believe he's Mexico. So yeah, they're really cute. My three babies. I really love this one. This one is very special. Look at the little chocolates. Yeah, so we got, I think this is France. Mexico. And we have Italy. And it's kits, so I think total, if you're interested, I paid around $20. Um, for all three of them that included shipping so I think I got a good deal I showed you this before same deal guys um, from a Russian website this is the website here and that I I couldn't figure out how to actually place the order and pay for it so they have a Facebook page, so I just messaged them on Facebook and they were able to invoice me and it was easier to do that way. But this is, um, it's, it's a, like a satin fabric and this design is printed on it, but you cross stitch all of these beads on it, You, if that makes sense. You could probably see the beads a little bit in this pattern but I'm really excited to do this one because I have convinced myself that I love to beat and I'm just gonna say that's the truth last one last one this is what my friend got me for Christmas one year I think her mom actually got this for me I love you Carly's mom this is a kit she picked up for me a bunch of little stockings and I think they're really sweet. Comes with everything that you need: the batting, the, the um, fabric, and all of the floss. So one of these days, I'm going to do this too. Um, I'm making a mess, but I'm going to carry on. 
before before I continue with that though, before I forget, I made another needle minder order because I'm addicted from Nifty Needle Nannies. And you know, I think you know that I love villains. And look at her. I got Maleficent. She is made from clay. Isn't that awesome? And he is also clay. Look at him. He's a crab on an island with coconuts. Those are really cute. And I saw them and I was like, yeah, I need those. I need those guys. And then I got a ton more. Um, I don't even know how to explain all these, but I got a lot, guys. Let me not cover them with my fat fingers. Okay, so let's see if I can see around this camera. First one, she is very, it's a designer um, fox with her baby. Look how pretty she is. This mermaid, I, I was like, you know what? I need that mermaid. I don't know why, but she's pretty. Then we have a series here. It was a special if you get the whole set. So two Halloween-esque cupcakes and a haunted house. Yes, please. Right up my alley. We got this beautiful fan. Look at that fan, guys. Coke. Why not? Share a can of Coke with Caitlin. Haunted Mansion. Yep. That's me. Zelda. That's me, too. Have you guys played Breath of the Wild? Is that... Yeah. I, um... I was all into that. And then we moved, and we haven't set it back up yet because I'm waiting for my living room furniture to be delivered so I can put all of that away because it can't fit in here. What else do I got going on? Oh, okay. Look at these pusheens. They're Pokemon pusheens. Shut your mouth. Look at that. Bulbasaur pusheen. We got a Jigglypuff pusheen. He's either Jigglypuff or Clefairy, but I'm going to say Jigglypuff. We got a Harry Potter pusheen, a regular pusheen, and then that um, pearl-esque gold starfish. And I have, believe it or not, more needle minders coming because I ordered a minion, but she can't find him. So I'm just like, that's fine, take your time, because I want that minion. Because he's really cute, and I don't want to pick another one. Thank you, Julie, for putting up with me, if you're watching. Um... I'm getting closed in by all of my stuff, but let's continue. Uh, okay, so I don't know if you can see back here. Let me scooch. So here, this is my coloring book box cube, I've decided. And he's in here for now because I'm not sure what else to do with him. But remember... Grandpa's friend, the captain, yeah, he got the card I sent him. I think I was telling you guys about that. I made this card and another with my friend Becky. Um, the other card said, I think something like relax by the sea and it was really cool. And so update on Grandpa's friend, the captain. Grandpa received an email from the captain and breaking news, he had to call me immediately to tell me all about it. Grandpa's friend, the captain, Captain Tor, made it home safely. He is now on vacation for six months with his wife before his next tour of duty on the Allure. And he received both mine and Harold's, Grandpa's, card. But of course, my card was like an afterthought because, you know, Grandpa had to take the spotlight, but that's fine. So, yeah, I made this at a craft party. Um, my friend Becky, she has an awesome friend who doesn't have a craft room, she has a craft cave. Her entire basement is floor to ceiling, wall to wall, craft goodness. Any cra anything you can imagine, like she has a Michael store down there, okay? I, I can't explain the amount of stuff I could live down there. I don't know why she surfaces or how she could surface for air. I would have a fridge down there. My TV would be down. Like, I would live down there. That's probably why she doesn't have a fridge down there. But if she wanted a fridge, she could put a fridge down there because it is huge. She has, like, um, 
like four or five tables set up just for people to come over and craft because she has enough room to do that and around these four or five tables or four to five chairs depending on how the table is laid out she has like three art lights a billion things of ribbon she has all the magazines in the world related to craft stuff all of the scrapbook all of the stamps all of all of the everything jimmy's just everything so when we went over there it was awesome um, it was a little craft night about three hours right before I went on my cruise actually and there was a bunch of food and there was you know a bunch of people I didn't know but I had Becky and Becky's mom and the lady was so nice her house is really awesome but we were down there and our craft for the evening was to make two greeting cards yeah, and she just let us have the run of her room, so it was awesome. We could use literally anything in there, and it was magical. I used everything. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use this card for, but I have it made, so, you know, it's there when I need it. What else is going on over here? I have my crown tower, and then I got a couple of coloring books. This one I got from Disney. I got this one I got when um, I got engaged because I'm a nerd. Yeah, Disney princesses. Because I want to be a Disney princess bride, right? For the longest time, I was trying to convince my husband that we should get married in Disney. Um, yeah, it was a hard sell because it didn't happen. <laughs> I was, like, campaigning husband Marry me in Disney. I want a fairy tale. Didn't happen, but you know, it's fine. Then I got adult coloring books because I guess I'm an adult. I can pass, right? Holiday sweaters, and then we got the Christmas trees. I haven't touched these at all, but sometimes I feel, you know, I feel like coloring. A lot of y'all do. Let me put this back. Okay. You know what, guys? This video is about to hit 50 minutes. Is this 40 or 50? I can't see. You see these glass? I can't see. So, I think I'm going to finish this last bin over here, and then we're going to call it. Because I'm not trying to have an hour video. I'm really not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you all. Hopefully, do you like, do you like long videos? Um... Oh, so this isn't, I'm not going to go through these, but this box is all of my wedding cards. Uh, eventually, I am going to make it into a book. I'm going to, like, hole punch all the cards and put it into, like, a, a wood book. I don't know. It's my, will it get done? I don't know when it's going to get done, but it's my idea. And then I also have a bunch of, like, birthday cards and anniversary cards for my husband and housewarming cards and all that good stuff so that's what we're gonna in the craft shelf at craft cubicle we'll call it a craft cubicle but I do want to show you my scrapbook because it's only three pages <laughs> um, when I got married my friend Carly she gave me this wonderful photo album and I decided since I didn't get my fairy tale Disney wedding, but I did marry my Prince Charming, that I should use this to commemorate our wedding. Um, and my friends and I, we had a scrapbook Halloween party. That was awesome. Why don't we do that anymore, guys? Come on. But we had a scrapbook Halloween party. We did scrapbook and we also painted pumpkins and we ate like crazy. I don't know. Did we get drunk? I don't know. I don't know what we did. Um, but I swear we worked on this for hours and I got three pages done. So I thought I would show you guys this. Uh, this is gorgeous. It's leather. This is Cinderella's castle. And the first page... This is me. <laughs> is that conceited? <laughs> Whatever. So, yep. 
I don't know. I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah. I did that. Um, page two. Me again. What? You again, Caitlin. You are so vain. Yeah. Then page three is my husband. I don't know if you guys have ever seen him or not. Um, surprise. This is my, my man. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? Yeah. So that's as far as I got. <laughs> um, I have, I have a plan in my head. You know how I went to, I have a ton of crap, scrapbook crap over there. That I need to figure out where is go where it's going in my craft room. I think it's gonna get its own cubby, but I have I still have to do some rearranging. Um, but how I want it to end is like cliche, and they lived happily ever after because there's a picture of me and him holding hands and looking back at our photographer that I that's actually it's the picture that's framed that's at my desk at work. So that's my favorite picture. Um, yeah. So. With that being said, what else is on my list? Craft room tour, needle minders, future plans. Do I really have any? I don't know. You know, my current whips, and then you guys have most likely seen Lakeside Needle Crafts Tea and Cake Free Stitch Along. I downloaded and printed off all the copies or all the patterns for that. And I want to do that really bad because I love tea. And I love cake, but I love tea more. Who doesn't love tea and cake? It's like the per- like this. Um, and then I also, um, I'm pretty- I think I told you all I got the Fantasy Sal. And I got all the threads. I'm, I don't know why I haven't started it. It's on my Q-Snap. I think it's because I don't have a grime guard. And I don't know how to make one. And I don't feel like paying somebody to give me- like, to send me one. <laughs> Well, I, I was ordering another one. Okay, quick story. God, how, many, how long is this? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. So this the story, right? Because, you know, you guys, floss tubers in general have been saying people want to know more about them. Or they want to know more about... Maybe I'm making this up. But it is my understanding that some people might want to know more about the people that they're watching if they like them. My last video, I don't know if that was true or not because I got the most thumbs down <laughs> out of all of my videos and that was kind of a bummer. Why are you going to thumbs down me? Just move on, like to block me or something. That is so hurtful to my soul. But it, regardless, regardless, because haters are going to hate and you haven't made it until, you know, you have a hater. So, what was I saying? Oh, the grind. I bought, so I did actually buy another one on Etsy. Bought from the same person who I bought my first one from. My Walking Dead one that's on my Hocus Pocus. And I waited two to three months before I was like, what the F? And I contacted her. No response. Um, it was really weird because a lot of people for what were commenting on... Facebook groups, posting in Facebook groups, saying they were having the same problem. How crazy is that? I guess she was really popular at one time. I guess maybe she was like the, uh, she had a monopoly on Grime Guards on Etsy. Etsy. Can I speak? No. And they were saying they paid for it. They messaged her. She's not messaging them back. Somebody said they got a really nasty message from her. And regardless... I, I sent her message twice, I waited three months, and then I contacted my credit card company, and I said, listen, I contacted them, I'm not, I don't, I'm seeing all these complaints, nobody's getting their stuff, she's not responding, just gave my money back, and I'll spend it somewhere else. Funny story, like, within 24 hours, I guess she saw that... <laughs> The money was taken back out of her account or something. She contacts me and she's like, do you still want that? No, I don't want it anymore. Thanks. And I'm pretty sure she's out of business now. Because that's not how you run a business, guys. That's why I could never... Like, I understand you guys who make beautiful, beautiful bags and grime... 
I understand you not wanting to sell stuff because it's a lot of work. Like eventually I want to design patterns, cross stitch patterns, and I think that might be like more feasible because I don't I don't even don't even ask me how the mechanics of Etsy work in regards to downloading PDFs. But I feel like that would be more feasible to do because once you make the pattern, right, you just, you sell the pattern. But there is the issue of people just buying it and then spreading it and posting it to Pinterest and giving it to their friends. That's not cool. That's not cool, guys. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. But, yeah, rant over. That's why I'm not working on my fantasy sale right now because I'm afraid my granny fingers are going to get it dirty. Not that I'm dirty. I like to say that I'm clean. <sighs> last, no, not the last thing. Second to last thing and then I'm done. Um, Stony Creek has the pattern of the month series. It's the Halloween one. Yeah, I uh, did the deep dive and I bought everything to do that. Everything. And I just got the new um, free pattern of the month. So that should be here soon, and the fabric and all that. So maybe I'll start that one. I say, I say I'm say i going to start. Listen, I know me. Like, I'm monogamous. Well, what's, what's two whips? Technically, it's only one craft at a time, right? Diamond painting, cross stitch, video games, books. Like, I do one, one of each at a time. So I don't know. That's my whatever you two cents on that last but not least I would like to request a stitching pen pal um I think the idea is really awesome snail mail stationery I get to use all my cute kawaii stuff that I'm hoarding and love to look at would love to use but, you know, just, I kind of, like, accumulate it, and I use it for notes and stuff at work. But, you know, I like to, I want to write. I want to, I want a stitchy pen pal who likes the stuff that I like. And, um, I don't know. What do you, what do you say to get people to want to write to you? I don't know how a pen pal, I mean, I know, like, I have an idea of how a pen pal works, right? You write back and forth to each other, and... You just get to know them through snail mail and talk about their life and what they like and what's going on and stitchy related goodness. You know, maybe share some tips or some, you know, send them something that they can't get in their country or where they live. Um, so here's my application. I'm Caitlin. My name is Caitlin. I'm 26 years old. I live with my husband of almost two years. We have been together for almost 11 years since I was 15 and he was 16. Um, we have two dogs. They're our children at this moment in time. We have Sage and Lexi, a Karen Terrier and a Sulky Terrier. I like to bake. I like to read comics. Um, my favorite series is probably Saga, Saga, and I like, you know, cheesy stuff like The Simpsons. I also like more serious, dark stuff particularly the DC Universe, Batman. Batman is my favorite, and I am in love with Ivy and Catwoman and Harley because they're just so cool. And I just like how gritty and grimy and horrific Batman can be at times. I like the dark stuff, but not too, like, I don't like the horror because I'm just like, uh, you know? Like, I like the the dark, dirty stuff, but don't scare me. Like, <laughs> Don't scare me, guys. Um, it freaked me out a little bit, you know, with the the murder and stuff. But don't don't scare me. I don't want I don't want like I don't know. What is my friend Harley? Um, she likes all that creepy like what is it? And Erica, she likes the Resident Evil with the creepy. No, I love Walking Dead. Like I could watch that all day. But the Resident Evil zombies, like if that was a thing. You would die. There's no chance. These movies, the only person left is, what's her name? Is her name Alice? She is, because she is like superficial. She's not even a real person. 
She looks like a robot that some corp- the Umbrella Corporation created, okay? And I only know this much because my husband forces me to watch these movies. But, let's be honest here. If a zombie apocalypse happened and the zombies from Resident Evil were the zombies of the world, we would all die because humans are not just zombies. It's everything. You got zombie dogs. Why, why do you want your dog to be... That is so messed up. No. If, you, if we had walking dead zombies, we would have a chance. It's probably, you know, people would probably get effed up. A lot of people would die. But I think, you know, I can make it. I'm, I will let you all know that I am a sniper. Yes, I have shot a gun before, and I am a damn good shot. I would like to say so. My husband say so, says so behind my back because he is upset that I'm a better shot than him. But I would brag on myself for a minute and let you know I get a bullseye every time. With these glasses. Yeah. Um, Stitchy Pim Pal. I <sighs> really, this video is so, I'm so sorry. Am I sorry? Because I'm continuing to talk. Stitchy Pim Pal. So I like comics, DC, Batman, Ivy. Um, Harley is a little, like her comics, her um, individual comics where she's the main character. I like those sometimes, but a, a lot of the times they get like a little too much for me, like clearly playing up to the male audience and her being just like not how I think that she should be, how she's portrayed in the darker main uh, Batman comics. See, now you can see my nerd coming out, right? But yeah, Saga. Oh, Fables. Have you all read Fables? Can we talk about for that a minute? Because you know, there's Once Upon a Time, but Fables is like the gritty, yes, like the adult, the adult Fables. It has Snow White, it has um, the Big Bad Wolf, and they have babies, y'all. They have, spoiler, spoiler, sorry, spoiler. The Big Bad Wolf and Snow White, yeah, they have children and they are werewolves like their daddy and they have magical floating power. I don't know. You gotta read it. It might sound a little crazy how I'm saying it right now, but oh my god. So, Fable, Saga, Batman, DC in general, pretty much. I'm getting into... Am I? Am I getting into manga? Manga? Anime? I'm going to Otakon in DC in August. Um, Death Note, if you all have heard of it, um, I don't read a lot of anime, manga, what a, see, I don't even know what it's called, this is how little I know of it, but Death Note is really good, I'm not going to talk about it here, but that's one that I'm currently reading, because this video is so long, I like Pokemon, obviously, um, I own every video game, Pokemon video game known to man. I like to collect toys, plushies. I really like the unicornos, like those blind boxes, they get me. You know, they just, the mystery, it gets me. Like I need, it's a compulsion, like I need to just, and they get, that's so smart. Who, I think Disney had it first, right, because Disney is like, whatever Disney I love you but you take all my money but because I started it with like the blind pins I think but the blind boxes yes that makes you spend all your money because how do you know which one you get you're gonna get and you have like that one or two that I need to have that so you just spend all your money when if they had them individually packaged you could just be like oh yeah I want that one that one that one blind box I like little toys um I'm a kid at heart I really am. Cross stitch, obviously. Um, I really, I don't, I don't like, like, the primitive stuff. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's not my taste. Some of it's really beautiful, like the Quaker, the Quaker patterns, those are really beautiful. But most of the primitive stuff, I'm just really not, not that into. I like looking at other people doing it, awesome, but it's not for me. Um, I like to read. What am I reading right now? I think I just finished reading Harry Potter for like the seventh time all the way through. And I just had a Harry Potter movie marathon. Um, what am I reading? I think I'm, I'm back to Under the Dome, which is Stephen King. See, I like 
and I like to watch um, the ID channel. For those of you who don't know, it's the, um, now I'm going to make a fool of myself. Isn't it like the identification channel? So it's like a lot of like murder mysteries, but it's real life. It's, I don't know why I'm so into that, but I'm so into like Dateline and 48 Hours and um, Evil Lives Here is one on ID that I've been binge watching. There's Dark Desires, which the victims tell their tales of how they nearly almost died. Um, what else? Like, those are my shows, guys. Those are my shows. I've been watching Crime Watch Daily. Like, I don't... That's that's my thing. That's my... Um, I just binged a couple months ago O.J. Simpson versus The People, or The People versus O.J. Simpson. So that's what I like to... Oh, and I love reality TV shows. I have all the Real Housewives on lock. I could talk to you about any of the series, any day of the week. I know them all. I love them all. Reality TV is my ish. Reality TV and murder mysteries. That's my thing. Go figure. Um, I also like, um, what else do I, what else am I watching right now? I like the, st like the animated stuff, Star Wars Rebels. I'm watching, okay, don't judge me, Winks. That actually I started when I was a teenager, when it first came on. I think it was like 12 or 13. So yeah, I watched the Winx, get over it, Winx Club, we are the Winx, we are the Winx, come join the club, we are the Winx, magical powers, okay, I'm gonna stop, but, oh, I play WoW, World of Warcraft, yes, that is me, I'm all up in that, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing, I've only been playing it on and off for a year, but this expansion is amazing, I play WoW, I diamond paint, that's awesome, right? Because, what did I discover that, like, two years ago? I swear, I, like, discovered it by accident. And no one was doing it. Like, literally no one. Because I would bring it up when, um, I think I first brought it up here, and they are just like, oh, okay. And then somebody invited me to the diamond painting attic worldwide or something. Diamond pa 5D painting diamond painting crystal cross stitch group and there was literally only the creator me and another girl and um three girls and i was like because i was looking for facebook groups for diamond painting i was like hey you know i want to share my pictures like i do cross stitch none existed and i didn't have the thought of creating one um so she actually she saw my youtube and she was like hey do you want to join and i was like sure yeah i want to see other people's diamond painting so it was just me us three and now there's, of course, like, I don't know, 5,000 members because it's gained in popularity. And I would like to think that I helped bring it, you know, popularity. Maybe, maybe that's just me being whatever, wanting to be a part of something. But, um, I don't, <coughs> ugh, gross, excuse me, I coughed. I think, I don't know where I'm going with this. If you want to be my pen pal, just comment below. <laughs> what else do you want to know about me? That's what I, I don't know, I'm weird. I like to go to comic cons and I like to bake, like I said, read comics. I like to draw. I uh, almost went to work for Marvel. I wanted to be a graphic designer, a graphic um, design artist, and I wanted to draw for them. Um... What else? I like to watch Cake Wars, Ace of Cakes. I like reality TV. I told you guys this. And I like to cook. I like Pokemon. I said all this. So I'm ending the video now. If you watched this far, you're awesome because we're over an hour. So I gotta go now. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Until next time. Hey, guys. As promised, here is the update on my diamond painting. Um, we got all of this going on and here's the two pages that I finished look she has a glittery glittery wing and there's a little bit more going on here so yeah that's her hair this is um pretty huge my table is six feet across and you can see it's almost six feet across as well so up close, 
Look at all that sparkle. I think it's going to turn out beautifully. So